Today we'll be finding the missing sides in similar triangles. The first question, the triangles below are similar, find the value of x. Now we have all the three sides given in the bigger triangle and in the smaller one, one of the sides uh, is missing. Now the step one is to know that the corresponding sides, like the side x here, you have the corresponding side with measurement 4.5 on the bigger triangle. The side that's 5 cm in the smaller triangle corresponds to a 7.5 cm in the bigger one. Now how will you make the ratio? I'll be taking x over, so this is the side corresponding to this on the bigger triangle I have 4.5. So x over 4.5 is equal to 5 over 7.5 which is the corresponding side in the bigger triangle. So this is how you have to take the ratio and to find x you have to just cross multiply it becomes x is going to be 5 multiplied by 4.5 over 7.5 this gives the answer for x equal to 3. Now since we haven't mentioned any units, it's just 3 units. Before going on to the next question, I would like to share some common errors that can happen uh, while solving these questions. Instead of writing x over 4.5 equal to uh, 5 over 7.5, but there are chances that uh, the students write the reverse like 7.5 over 5. So this is an error. So maintain the order if you start from here x over 4.5 and should be equal to 5 over 7.5. So you come back from here and take the ratio not like this. Now reading through your minds I can see a doubt that you have can I write uh, x over 4.5 is equal to 4 over 6. Yes, you can do that. Again, x is 4 multiplied by 4.5 over 6 giving you a 3. So this ratio is also possible. Uh, not necessary that every time you have to take 5 and 7.5, you can take 4 and 6 and uh, find the answer. Uh, for both the cases, the answer remains the same. Moving on to the next question. In question 2, you have two triangles that are similar CBA and CED. Uh, AB is parallel to DE. AB equals 9 cm. BE is 4.8. EC is 6 cm and ED is K. Your question is to find the value of K. You have two similar triangles here. Uh, which looks overlapping so the bigger one C B E and the smaller one here is C E D here you have 9 cm E D is K cm B C look at the long line B C which is 4.8 plus 6 cm giving you 10.8 cm. The smaller one is 6 cm which is EC here is 6 cm. Now taking the ratios I have K here K cm which corresponds to the side AB which is 9. So I'll start with them K over 9 is equal to so I'll write 6 over 10.8 to find k you will cross multiply 6 multiplied by 9 over 10.8 the value of k is equal to 5 centimeters now if you're really good at visualizing you don't want to draw the triangle separately you can just mark them here k is the side that corresponds to the smaller triangle and you have 9 here for the bigger the corresponding side of the bigger triangle and you have 
EC6 as the side in the smaller triangle, which has the corresponding side BC. Make sure you add them because your length should be 10, 6 plus 4.8, 10.8 centimeter. Talking about the common error, uh, students tend to write K over 9 equals uh, 6 over 4.8. So this is a mistake. Don't do it. Question 3. The lines AB and CDE are parallel. Uh, AD and CB intersects at X. So we have two triangles being formed. The question is to find what is the length of AX. Since we have two parallel lines and the triangles fall between them, considering the transversals, we have angle X here is equal to the angle formed at XDC uh, because they are alternate interior angles. Similarly, angle Y here is equal to angle BCD, the angle here. Again, the reason is they are alternate interior angles and, and these are vertically opposite. So the triangles here are similar triangles. We have triangle AXB. So AXB, similar to triangle corresponding to A, the angle is D. So D, X. And C. Make sure when you write the names of the similar triangles, you maintain the order of the corresponding angles in both the triangles. Now the question is to find uh, AX. So I'll start with writing AX over. So the corresponding side for AX on the other triangle is DX. Now looking for the other two known sides, uh, AB. So I have side AB over, so the corresponding uh, sides for AB here is DC, substituting the value AX, AX over uh, DX, my DX is 3 cm, is equal to AB is 9 over 6 cm. So AX is going to be 9 multiplied by 3 over 6, 4.5 centimeter. So your answer is AX equals 4.5 centimeter.